Hello and welcome to Technician's Crew Pass. My name is Chris Tobias, and in this episode of Crew Pass TV, we're going to be road testing the Mackie DL1608. Now, this is a 16 channel digital console that fits under your arm. Really cool, really lightweight, but the thing is, is that it's actually controlled via an iPad. So, this is basically a chassis. Um, it's got Onyx preamps, it's got 16 channels in, it's got six channels out, and you um, download the free Mackie um, uh, mixing app from the iTunes store, slide your iPad in, and basically you've got yourself a uh, digital console. What I'd like to do is, let's just go over the functionality of what's actually built into the chassis, then I'll connect the iPad, we'll uh, go through the menu structure, and then I'll show you how to set it up wirelessly. So, let's have a look. On the back here, You've got power and you've got your ethernet. Uh, ethernet is for setting, setting this up wirelessly so you can have more than one iPad connect to it. Uh, then you've got your power switch. You've also got phantom. Now, just something for anyone, uh, before you hit the phantom switch, it's a global phantom power. So it actually uh, provides phantom power to all outputs. Uh, sorry, all inputs. So just be careful before you flick that switch and it's probably best to make sure that's always off before you turn the console on. Uh, right and left out, um, you've got uh, six auxiliary sends. You do have 16 inputs. You've got 12 XLR and you've got four combi jacks. Then on the top here, what you've actually got is six, uh, sorry, 16 gain, uh, gain pots and you've got a little indicator LED there as well for, um, for like the, uh, the volume or the gain. Now that's kind of cool. Uh, I do like that they have thought about that and, and given you a gain that you can easily grab. Um, so it's a really nice little feature. Uh, you do have um, headphone out and a he headphone pot as well. So again, um, they've thought about the simple things that, that, that you need quickly. Then what you've got here is this is where your iPad goes. And basically your iPad just slides in here, connects to whatever uh, connection you've got. And these are all interchangeable. So if you've got an iPad mini, you can get an iPad mini uh, dock for it. Or if you've got the new um, lightning connector, you can get the lightning connector for it. So this is the 30 pin, the old version um, of uh, for the iPad. So let's connect an iPad. Basically, I'll just show you. I've had to get a 30 pin to uh, lightning connector, but you can get this with a um, lightning uh, uh, input. Basically, you just slide this in, connect it, and that's it. So, let's power it up, we'll go through the menu and I'll show you how it all works. Okay, so um, just telling you a little bit more about the console before we dive into the uh, uh, iPad app. Um, basically what you've got is um, 16 channels in. Each of those 16 channels has a four band EQ with a compressor and a gate, um, which is really cool. That's all controlled via the iPad. You've also got on the six org sends, um, or the six auxiliary sends, you've got a 31 band EQ um, and each of those um, org sends has a compressor and a limiter as well. So. Um, let's have a look at the iPad app. Basically, it's a free app. You can download it from the iTunes store. It's called Master Fader. I'll leave a link uh, in the show notes. And when you open it, um, and if the iPad is connected, you'll see this little synchronize window pop up, and then you'll know that, you're, that you are connected. And you'll see that it says connected up there beside presets to the left. Uh, this little button says that you're connected. Um, so you've also, just so you can see it, you can work offline. Um, as well and you've got a couple of settings there so this is where you can do like a parental lock thing so you can actually I can say I don't want anyone to be able to touch the presets or the show and I want to lock that and I want to set a password so that's a really cool feature um, because you can actually have 10 iPads connected to this one console so um, I think it was originally designed so you could say to the drummer oh pull out your iPad um, link up to the console and you can give yourself or you can work out your own sends 
So obviously, if you're going to do that, you don't want them being able to um, save presets or update anything that, that you've already done. So um, locking them out is a really good way of uh, kind of controlling that. But we'll get into that a little bit more later. So uh, I've got my iPhone here with a uh, mini jack to XLR. Uh, we'll just plug this in. And let me just reset my gain structures. So basically what you'll see is on channel one and two there that I just plugged in, um, it came, came straight up on the iPad. And then I've got my gain here, um, which again is really nice and easy, really easy to get to and really easy to grab. Um, and you've also got a little um, gain indicator light here as well. So um, one of the cool things I'll just show you quickly is, is that you can use two fingers uh, on the iPad, which I think is really cool. Um, and one of the other great things that I like is that any time you touch anything, it gets a little hover. So you can see if I'm touching channel one, it's got like a purple glow around it. I think that's really cool because it means that you can't kind of get too lost and you know what you're actually touching because everything's a touch screen. So um, it's a really nice way to do things. So let's have a quick look at the channels um, and then I'll uh, show you uh, a little bit more around. So basically you've got your eight channels here on screen. Um, if you want to get to the rest of the channels, you go from uh, right to left. So finger and you just slide right to left. So really cool, really easy. Um, and then you can see right at the end here, you've also got your reverb delay and your iPad. Now iPad is if you want to play music from the iPad. So if you've got your iTunes library on your own iPad and then you connect to the actual console, you can play music from your iPad. So you can play music from any iPad that's connected to the device and you can have 10 iPads connected to the device. So it makes it really, really functional. Um, functional. So let's just go back to channel one. Um, I'll just make sure that, yep, I'm on, I'm on the main. So you can see, sorry, I was just looking at there on the very right hand side, it's, um, it's always the uh, main out, um, output and you've also got your org sends there. So these are the org sends, but we'll look at those in a second. So let's just have a look at the main um, right and left out. One of the cool things that I like is that you can do things like this. So you can say, I want to link channels one and two. Yes, I do. So you can now see channels one and two are linked and then like the next one over is obviously three. So it just makes, it means you're not using so much space on the actual screen. I think it's a really cool little feature. It's really simple. You can unlink them as well um, and link them anytime you want. So the other thing you can do is you can name things really simple. I want to name this iPhone. Um, and then all you do to save is just click off the screen. So really simple. Now you can just leave it like that if you want to just call it iPhone or you can go one step further. You can actually go to images and you can use one of the standard icons. So you can see here that this is uh, the icons that are built in to the actual device. So I could say, oh, I want this to be a piano. Oops, sorry, I want this to be a piano. And all of a sudden I get a piano icon that says iPhone. Or what you can do is you can go image, you can go to your camera, or you can go to your photo library. And I took a photo earlier of the Mackie logo and you can see you've got the Mackie logo. So where that'd be cool is if you wanted to walk up to the drummer and take a photo of his face or you wanted to take a photo of the actual piano or whatever you want to do, you can then in, insert it into every channel. So it's a really cool little function and I think that's kind of neat. Um, so just looking, you've obviously got solo, you've got a mute, you've got your pan left and right, um, everything that you would expect. Then if you click up here, you've actually got your um, gain structure and your compressors and gates. So like I said earlier, you've got a four band EQ so quite simple, you just grab it with your finger, you'll see it highlights blue and you can change your EQ or you can change down. You can grab and change uh, on the faders as well. So either or, um, whichever one you'd like. Um, the other thing to show you and the thing that I like as well is, is you've got your, on the right hand side, it's um, always got the left and right master. And on the left hand side, it's always got the channel that you're working on. So it all, it's, it's, it's a really easy way to see what's going on while you're actually working on things. Now you've also got this little button up here called, well at the moment it says modern, but you can also change it to vintage. And if you change it to vintage, it actually gives you a vintage style like knob. Um, I find it much easier to navigate the modern, but that's just me. Um, now to get to your compressors and gates, you simply grab your finger and slide up if it will do it. There you go, sorry, my, my screen's pretty dirty. So basically you just slide up, uh, you've got your compressor and your gate there, 
And it's pretty simple. You can use these little faders here or you can click here and fade up and down. So quite simple to use. And you've also got the modern and vintage uh, here as well. And also with the compressor, you've got the, mod the modern and vintage. So I think it's kind of cool that they've kind of thought about putting that in as well. Um, like, like I said, I find those little uh, digital twist knobs when you're trying to move your finger and, and get, it, get it lined up um, don't work very well, but hey, they're, they're there. Um, now, if you slide up again, you've also got reverb and your delay for, for that particular channel. So everything that you would need, very, very simple to navigate just by sliding up and down. And then when you're ready to go back to your mixer, you just press mixer and it takes you back. So really simple, really easy to use, um, and it's not that difficult to really nav um, navigate around. So let's just go over to the right hand side where the um, main left and right is. Let's have a look at what's here. So basically you've got an EQ on your main left and right, a 31 band EQ. Uh, you can do cool things like um, grabbing things and, and dragging up and down. So, um, you know, really simple. You just grab the dot, make sure it's highlighted, and then you can move things up and down. Um, so that's, that's your main uh, left and right. You've also got, uh, sorry, you've also got mute and you've got your pan and then you've also got um, uh, these buttons on the side here. So if you just click on those, you've got your left and right and these are your org sends, but I'll just keep on left and right at the moment. Then you've got the record button. Now the record button is really kind of cool because you can at any time just bang, you're now recording whatever we're sending to it. And then I can stop recording and I can say, yes, I want to stop. And it pops up and says, do you want to save this? No, I don't want to save it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So really simple and actually saves to your iPad. So I kind of like that functionality as well. Um, you can obviously name your left, and, uh, sorry, your main out and you can give it a photo as well. So you can give it icons um, for whatever you want to call it. Um, very simple, very cool. So let's have a look at the Org sends. Um, org sends are really simple. Basically, you just uh, choose what you want. They're all color coded. So I go to Orgs 1. Orgs 1, I want to give it a bit of the iPad. I might give it a bit of that and a little bit of this. Um, like I said, because it is an iPad, you can double finger. So, which is kind of cool. Um, and then you can just flick through to your different sends. So, uh, you've also got post fade, pre fade as well. Um, so, that's all there. Then you also have. Oops, sorry. Um, you also have your reverb delay and iPad input as well to send to those orgs, uh, yeah, to send to the org sense. Uh, you, as I said, you've got a 31 band EQ on the output of every org send, so that makes things really interesting. Um, 